morning guys Merry Christmas Eve day tonight is Christmas Eve um very shortly ish I'm gonna leave to go to Austin's parents place because we're gonna celebrate our little Christmas thing there but I have a couple hours here and there's one thing that I want to try I briefly mentioned it in last week's vlog that it was a DIY that I was thinking about doing and I want to test it out now so here's what's going on I have these lights and they're pretty great Although you can see fingerprints all over them, which is a big problem. But the issue is that it's like a clear bulb, which is really nice, but you can see the light bulb in it and like the silver hardware. But I feel like over time, it, it's like, it feels really cold. And I think that because it's so clear, it really emphasizes the fingerprints, <laughs> which is really gross. So I was looking at and wondering about milk glass bulbs. I will insert pictures of milk glass bulbs around here for reference so you know what I'm talking about. Essentially, it's like white glass which my eyes are very watery this morning. I am sorry. This is just a thing that happens to me in my life. <laughs> it's nice because it diffuses the light really nicely because it's like a color and you don't see the bulb inside and it's, it's nice. So, get my life together this morning. So my first thought was to look if they sold milk glass bulbs for this exact light, they don't. And then my second thought was maybe I can DIY it. <laughs> Now, the only thing I'm really nervous about is they don't make this light anymore, so if I mess it up, it's gone. It's done for. So I went to the thrift store last week, and I got some glass that I can test on. I got some glass, and I got some white spray paint, and I'm going to try and spray paint that glass, see how it goes. Let's go outside, let's test some things, and see what happens. Okay, so I have both my test subjects in and dry, and I did one out of like a white white and one out of more of a creamy white, and it looks like it worked, but I think we're about to run into a problem because I just tested it. I tested it with a uh, light on my phone to see how light actually shines through these. So the light super emphasizes any place that's not like a thousand percent even. You can see the speckles of the spray paint still. And you can tell that here is where I did more coats, but you can see the light through it a lot less. So neither one of these is great. I like the color of this one a lot better. It's a lot creamier, but... <laughs> we got a little drip, which literally isn't a huge drip, but once you put a light on it, this is the grossest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like not cute at all. I feel like both of my tests were too unreliable to do it. Because I think I would hate it. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep looking into seeing if I can buy glass globes that are already tinted white. Guys, like I don't usually fail at DIYs. Like this is not good. My DIY track record is severely lowered by this one. So I don't know. Any help, any thoughts below would be great. All right. On to the more Christmas festive vlog content that y'all really want, not me failing at DIYs. I was worried we wouldn't have a white Christmas because we live closer to the city and there's like zero snow there. But now that we're up a little bit north, I don't think I have to be worried. It's like, a freaking winter wonderland up here. It's gorgeous. Like I can't even like this is postcard status right here. It's pretty nice. It's really nice. Look at this freaking forest covered in snow. It just snowed. I can't even explain to you how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. The city has some things but it doesn't have everything. Hey guys, it's Friday. <laughs> oh my god, my voice is terrible. Um, Christmas happened this week and it was great. Um, I left my camera at Austin's parents' house, which is why there was no footage from the last couple days, but you honestly didn't miss a ton. It was a good time, I enjoyed it. Hopefully your Christmas was great as well. Clearly I am sick. I don't know how this happened, I'm so frustrated because I felt like a little throat tickle coming on like three days ago 
and I did the whole like salt water thing, vitamin C thing, tea thing, lots of water thing. Like I did it all because I was like, I cannot get sick and I still lost. <laughs> The reason I didn't want to get sick so badly is because today we are actually leaving to go to Montreal for the weekend and the New Year's. We have an Airbnb, um, Austin and I and a bunch of our friends. So we are driving out there like in like an hour we're heading out and um, we're just gonna hang out in the city and then obviously spend New Year's Eve there and then come back after. I'm just gonna have to power through it because I want to go and I really want to have a good time. So wish me luck. I just dropped Danny off. Um, he's going to like a dog daycare for a little bit and then my parents are taking him. So. That's that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I swear, like, this always happens to me. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be a good time. I will see you guys in Montreal. All right, it's Saturday. Made it to Montreal successfully, and Montreal, you are cold. You can see my breath. <sighs> But this morning we are out to find some Montreal style bagels because I've heard they're really good. Notre Dame, y'all. Celine Dion got married here. morning and I'm coming to you from Bali. We had a very, very long couple of flights. We left my house at thurs Thursday 7 a.m. land here Saturday 5 a.m. Obviously there's a time difference but still that's like two days. But um, we're at a villa here with like so many of my family members. This is a room me and my sister share. And then this is my parents' room. And there's a little washroom over here. And our villa out there. Okay, it is a little rainy here, honestly. Maybe the sun will come out, but super excited to be here. It's been way too long for travel day, so. I need to get in the pool or eat breakfast or something. Oh, she bright out here in Bali. Um, okay, last night was our real first sleep here, even though we left Thursday morning, and it's Sunday morning. I don't know how, we've only been here for like one day. Yesterday was super chill, we just like, Launched by the pool. Have I given you guys a tour yet? I don't think so. But there's one little room back there for my aunt. Our pool here. Oh, loud people over here. Family. A room there, a room there, a room up there. And a kitchen and a Jenna over here. And today we are taking surf lessons. I have never surfed before. This is gonna be my first time surfing. I think I'm gonna be good at it, if you ask me. It's like a two and a half hour lesson. Yesterday, we also uh, went for a little walk and I saw how much plastic there was here. It, I think it washes up overnight and they also said it's really bad this time of year because it's like the currents in December. So much plastic on the beach. It was really, really, really heartbreaking to see. Um, but they do a good job of cleaning it up. But you know, it'd be nice if they didn't have to. If we all just use less plastic. Just your daily reminder. Okay, I also just wanted to say that Airbnb has been such like a light, not sponsored, hashtag not sponsored. The place we're staying is an Airbnb um, and I can link it once I'm no longer staying there um, because these vlogs will go up while I'm still in Bali. Um, and if you guys didn't know, if you use the code that I've linked below, you'll get $45 off your first trip with Airbnb and also we'll get up a little bit of money. And I've been using that credit to book um, this surf lesson too. I found on Airbnb experiences, they also have experiences if you didn't know. And then I also saw like lots of other cool things. You can do like make your own coconut oil um, and also like indigo dyeing, which is, it's like that, what is it called? Bebs, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's really pretty and cute. Okay, and then one other thing before 
um, I'm surfing at the surf lesson is that you guys asked me where I got those hand carvings from and that you may have seen in my apartment tour and I actually bought those when I was in like Alberta Canada but they were originally from Bali like they imported them from Bali so I'm gonna see if I can find them here maybe I can like pick them up we can do like a giveaway or something motorcycle bike see y'all right oh we always go to the right but we should go to the <laughs> He's making fun of me vlogging. But we should go to the left because they, dri they drive on the opposite side, right? Pass on the, we pass on the left. Okay, to the beach. <laughs> hey. Like plant dreams here, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! That's an Instagrammer. We're at Fat Bowl and I got sushi donuts. Okay, that surfing was good. Oh my god, the flies. Get away, it's my sushi. I'm gonna go back and do it again. I was getting the hang of it. But man, it is rough out there. My eyeballs, like, they hurt. These eyelashes, are they still on? I don't know. They need to brush them out. I know when most people go to Bali, you see like Instagrammers and it's like beautiful and models, but like, we just have family pool time. Josh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to sit here. That's cute. <laughs> Guys, I'm at a market. Look what I found. I found the hands. These are like the exact same ones I have. That's amazing. They also have big ones. They have these wooden ones too. These ones are cute too. They're like individual, but they're together. It's kind of cute, eh? I kind of like those too. They're like individual. Maybe I'll get some of these. Should I buy them now or later? Maybe later. Oh my god, these ones are so small. They're so cute. These are like the same ones though. Oh my god. I feel like I look more and more red as the night goes on. Okay. I got some hands. Okay, I'm gonna give some away some hands to somebody. Stay tuned guys. Feature vlogs. Feature Instagram. I don't know. I'm so happy I found them. Are you happy you got that or what? It's Sunday evening and we are at a restaurant called White Tea and Gazinos. It's Italian and so far it looks so good. Like it's so nice here. They have this giant pizza oven. Austin got the pizza, so I'm excited to see that. And I'm hanging on. Hello, fam. I'm pretty sick today, but honestly, it's okay. Honestly, it's okay. This restaurant is amazing and it's saving it. Super. Let me get Let's hear a review, boys. Is it good? Unbelievable. Six out of ten. Yeah. It's so good. It's amazing. Everyone's pasta looks so good. 